Hello friends, welcome to my channel tutors.com. The topic that we are going to do today is force. So what is force? Force is basically a push or a pull that is applied to an object. So if you are pushing a door to close it or you are pulling a door to open it, then you are applying force to it. Now this force, basically the pushing or the pulling can be in any form. So few of the forms are pushing, pulling, picking, hitting, lifting, lowering, flying, kicking, throwing, shutting and flicking. Now on the right you can see that there are various activities that are being done by the people there. So let's identify them as push or pull. So in the first case the person is pushing this cart. So that's a push. In the second case the woman is pushing the baby to move him forward. So this is a push. In the third case the bot is pulling the cart to move it forward. So that's a pull. In the fourth case, this person is pulling another person so that they move forward. So this is a pull. In the next case, the person is pushing the cargo inside the van. So this is a push. In the next case, the person is pulling the weight so that the heavy, heavier weight can be lifted up. So it's a pull. In the next case, this person is pushing the lawn mower so that the lawn can be mowed. So this is a case of a push. In the next case, the person is pulling this trunk using the iron belt from the ground. So this is a pull. In the last case, the girl is pulling the dress. So this is a case of a pull. Let's just summarize what we have just done. So the first case is that of push, second push, third push. Pull, fourth pull, fifth push, sixth pull, seventh push, eighth pull, ninth pull. Now let's understand what this force actually is. So force is basically the effort that is needed to push or pull an object. So here the key term is the effort and the push and the pull. So the effort that is required by you to push or pull an object is the force. Now this force is a vector quantity. What do you mean by vector quantity? I've already told you about vector and scalar quantity. If it's not clear to you, you can just log on to my uh, motion chapter uh, scalar and vector quantity and you will be able to identify various quantities. Now scalar uh, vector quantities are the quantities which has both magnitude as well as direction. Now what is this magnitude and the direction? So in this case, the bot is pulling the cart. Let's Im so the direction of the force that is being applied by the bot is towards left. Now let's imagine that, uh, let's just take that the force that is being applied by the bot is 10 Newton. So here 10 Newton represents a magnitude and the direction is given by the arrow. So when I have the magnitude as well as a direction associated with any physical quantity, the physical quantity is a vector quantity. So here in this case, I have written N. What does this N signifies? Now this N is the standard unit for force and is a short form for Newton. So I have capital N denoted for Newton, which is the standard unit of force. Now two points that I, we have done so far for force is it is a vector quantity and the standard unit is Newton, which is capital N. The last is that it exists due to the interaction between two or more objects. Now, why did I say two or more objects? Now, let's say, take a case, uh, let's take the case of a force such as magnetic force. Now, in a magnetic force, I have a magnet as well as I, I have a magnetic substance. This magnet attracts this magnetic substance towards itself. Now, this magnetic substance could be one or many. In that case, the interaction becomes between two or more than two objects. Similarly, we have other forces as well. For example, gravitational force, electrostatic force, frictional force. We will be studying about all of these forces in our next class. Now, uh, to be continued, uh, let's understand what is magnitude of force. So imagine that this person is pushing or kicking a ball at a left uh, towards the left direction with a force of 40 Newton. So here the force of 40 
न्यूटन बिकम्स अ मैग्नीट्यूड एंड टुवर्ड्स लेफ्ट बिकम्स अ डायरेक्शन सो फोर्टी न्यूटन रिप्रेजेंट्स द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द फोर्स दस वी कैन से दैट द अमाउंट और द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द फोर्स इज एक्सप्रेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फोर्स सो इफ आई हैव टू फोर्सेज लेट से ट्वेंटी न्यूटन एंड फोर्टी न्यूटन देन आई कैन से दैट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फोर्टी न्यूटन इज मोर एज कम्पेयर टू द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ट्वेंटी न्यूटन I hope this is clear to you. Let's just quickly summarize what we have done so far. So, force is a push or a pull that is applied to an object. Force is also the effort that is needed to push or pull an object. It is a vector quantity, which means that it has both direction as well as magnitude. The SI unit of force is newton, that is represented by capital N, and it is the interaction between two or more objects. I hope this topic is clear to you please do not forget to subscribe and like this video and do not miss any science and maths a video that we are uploading visit our website www.tutel.com for more educational videos or to try online test related to the topic and to get the best study quality material uh, and much more please do visit our site um uh, wait for the next video till then uh, stay safe stay healthy bye take care